Hello there. In this video, I'll show you how to set up what we call a transaction recording policy for any API product that you have decided to charge for. What is a transaction recording policy? It's basically just a set of criteria that you will use to define what you want to charge people money for. Why is it important? Because you don't want to charge your partners money for any cause that may have failed. You only want to charge them for successful transactions that, that they send through. So that is what transaction recording policy helps you define because any organization might uh, from organization to organization uh, you know you might want to charge for different things and you might have different criteria so in this particular example I'll show you how to edit a transaction recording policy for an existing product so this is an existing API product and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select a flow variable as the criteria that I will set and I'm going to say that I will use a status code within the flow variable to determine if, if a particular transaction has been successful. The flow variable is a variable that exists in the context of an API transaction that comes in. So, uh, you know, it, it may be part of the payload, it may be something that Apigee already gives you, or you may actually. Uh, set it up in a custom manner. So in this particular example, we are using a flow variable called transaction provider status, and we're saying that if the value is success, which means that this is a successful API call, then um, we should go ahead and charge for this call. The important thing to remember about transaction recording policy is if you have not set this up, your calls will not be monetized according to the criteria that you want. Thank you.